the next thing I'll be talking about is the turkey. I'm delirious if you can't tell. I'm sorry if this video is horrible. But it's the Temple of Hercules Victor. The city and country of work is Rome, Italy. The specific location of the work is in the Piazza Bocca della Verita in Rome. And the artist responsible is unknown. The medium of work is it's an architectural building made of Greek marble and lunar marble. The period of work is Greek, but it's classified as a Roman temple. And that's what I thought it was when I take a picture. So it's going in that section. So sorry. Um, the historical relevance of the work is that it was erected by El Mumius Atticus or by Marcus Octavius Herinus. But by um, 1132, the temple had been converted to a church. The temple was recognized officially as an ancient monument in 1935 and was restored in 1966 and closed to the public for its protection um how long, to, how long it took to create is unknown but it was during a period of heavy construction along the tiber and is dating later in the second century century bc this story is important because this temple is the earliest earliest surviving marble building in rome the hercules temple of victor is also the only surviving sacred temple in ancient Rome that is made of Greek marble. The defining characteristic of the work is that the temple is 14.8 meters in diameter and consists of a circular, circular cella with a concentric ring of 20 Corinthian columns, 10.66 meters tall, resting on a tough foundation. It's spelled T-U-F-F, not like tough. Um, these elements supported in Architrave and roof, which have since disappeared. It was also speculated that there might have been a dome because of one of the drawings of it, but no one really knows. Um, my personal observation was that the entry of it wasn't just like a little door. The entry was like a really skinny like arch that went like almost all the way up to the ceiling, which was really elaborate. Um, and I chose this work because I like the story behind how I saw it. Me and Addie wanted to go somewhere and we got kind of lost. And then we looked around and we were like, oh my god, this is so beautiful. Then we looked up the area we were in, which is called the Forum Boreum. And we were like, oh, this is super cool. It was like the first place where like the first gladiator battles happened. It was like a little cattle market and stuff. So we were just really impressed by that. And the temples were gorgeous in real life. So we were, I just like the story behind it and how it compares to other works in the period. Um, this is part of, if you walk further down the road, you see more of them, but it's part of like the garden of temples. And the only thing that's really different about this one is the type of marble it has, and obviously a little bit more resilient. Um, but other than that, it's stylistically pretty much the same. Um, one fun fact is that despite, or perhaps due to the foreign Borium's role as a cattle market for ancient Rome, the Temple of Hercules is subject of the folk belief of claiming that neither flies nor dogs will enter the holy place.